I'm only one person, so I have no... I've never had any real emotional support but by my best friend, Rosalind Conk. I had a real relationship, Mark Pesnowski. Cindy Pounce was not my best, best friend. Connie Loomsbury couldn't take all my hell. She couldn't deal with it. Like, you talk about child molestation, you don't want to think about it, deal with it. That's what happened with her. So, yeah, people can't deal with child molestation at all. Rosalind Conk did, she said. When she was 28 years old, finally, she said, uh, on the phone, last thing she said to me, Tara, I think I was child molested too. I was in high school with her. I was like, you bitch. You don't care. You don't care that I was suicidal. I was suicidal and you don't care. She said, Tara, that's all you've ever been. What are you talking about? That's you. What? Like, why are you the fuck's up with you? You don't care. I was a rival. You don't care, Rosalind. You don't care. Tara. Tara, 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 Tara. You were always that way. You always acted that way. <laughs> and then for her to say, in her early 20s, just around then, last time I talked to her on the phone, Tara, I think I was a child with a child. Because in my early 20s, uh, I happened to be away from my parents, uh, pregnant for the first time. I had two miscarriages. My caretaker took me to my abortion. And my other child died at Hershey Medical Center because of uh, abuse. And I knew, that's proof right there, that I was totally traumatized because a dead child didn't really affect me. And abortion really didn't affect me. Like, people make things affect them. I don't see how that would make you want to kill yourself. Uh, having n your child die. Having an abortion, having um, a child die. Because my trauma was way fucking worse than a child dying. So that's proof that I was traumatized much worse than my own child dying. And I did have a fake prayer Jesus person say, um, whoa. I'm 50 now. 53. Whoa, you yeah, had en enough to enough uh, bad stuff happen to you with last a lifetime. You have four dead children. You are four children that died. Yeah, well, it didn't affect me. I mean, it didn't, like, really affect me like other people. Like, oh, oh my... Oh, a miscarriage, oh my god. That didn't affect me at all. The abortion did. Because the uh, father of my two children wanted a baby so bad. So... That, but then he killed the next child. Being super violent. So, it's just stupid. Oh, he killed... His one kid, because he threw me in the shamrock door, that's right. And the bartender, of course, wouldn't do anything, and I understand why. You don't get involved with courts. You don't get, I mean, my God, he's just like, I, I said, well, you were there, you saw me throw it at the door. No, I didn't. 
That's just the way real life is. You have no witnesses. Reality. That's real life. I'm so pissed off at myself. For not dropping my diary in a parking lot. It's not that. It's papers. I don't know what exactly. It, it, it wasn't worthwhile. It's not worthwhile. When your life is on the line, it's not worthwhile. It's not worth talking to death. I guess I'll just be real. I was, um... I screamed. You raped me. My husband knows you raped me because I was dirty inside. My, I mean, I've screamed this in the parking lot. Of course, in the cast tour with all these white trash all around, screaming all the time. That's just normal. I saw a white old woman one time screaming at her dog. And, yeah, I mean, they're screaming all the time. There's a lot of white trash. But, I mean, that was a lot in the past. I mean, it still happens with all the drug addicts. <laughs> like, downtown, it's just like, you know what? I'm, like, thinking the asshole should be fined. The heart of downtown, just screaming. Because he can't get his fucking drugs. He should be fine. A, a cop should be alerted within minutes and the cops should be there and say, you know what, this is noise ordinance and I'm giving you a $300 fucking fine. Try not to do, try not to scream about your fucking drugs here, asshole. Seriously. That's the way things should, and the domestic violence, the late, for, late Arthur has not the third, throwing me in the shamrock door and then about Exactly two days later, I had a miscarriage because he threw me in the door. And I did have one public defender only one time in my life. And that was that incident, right? He's in jail six months for child support. Right? They don't care about you know, anything else. And I'm just going to bring another thing up. He had a pickup truck. No driver's license on the side of the highway. Cop pulls over. Pound of pot drops out of his pickup truck. He has no driver's license. Why does he go to jail? Child support. The cop probably kept the pound of pot and probably, um... Yeah, driver's license? Ah, it's too much, too much paperwork. Oh, six months child support. There, there you go. All right, buddy, going in jail for six months child support. And his ex-wife. I guess they got divorced. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> All right, whatever she was. Okay. The woman who had to endure his hell before me, um, I used to call her up and cry, and she'd be like, the hell is the matter with you? I'm not, you know, I'm done with you, like, he's an asshole. Just move on, just, what the fuck's the matter with you? The fuck's the matter with you? Oh, you didn't know, like, parents are jobless, and then I learned, found out he's one, too. Wow. <laughs> She's like, why do you think I'm I'm not with him? Why would I even bother talking to you? But, um, okay, a very empathetic person would have. Uh, she she was real, okay, but a more empathetic person would be like, um. My, I'm, I'm really, really sorry, but do you realize how bad of a person that you're going out with? Why do you think I'm not with him? I mean, she did say that. Um, why are you, what's the matter with you that you're that 
mean to yourself. Well, at that time, I hated myself. So, but, so because I hated myself, I wouldn't have been able to fully listen to her. So, I, nobody, I mean, certainly not pretend a lot narcissist. Finish that later. I hate people that lie. At least my late husband did not lie. James Lester's parent did not lie. He All he said was, my mom said I, oh, she knows that he didn't love himself. And he didn't have an answer for that. Yeah, of course you don't. You absolutely hate yourself. And so does all of the narcissists in my life. And the ones who ever said that they love themselves, like Arthur, late Arthur has not the third. No way. No way the way he treated his women. Absolutely not. He did not love himself. So yeah, she's just like... She... A uh, personal... A person needs emotional support, but it depends on where they're at. So they have to love themselves, and then you have to get a person to love themselves, but that's really hard because then you have all these narcissists, or a better word is insane abusers. You have too many insane abusers who say, I love myself. Like, pretend a lot narcissists when he absolutely hates himself, and he is sane. He does read my Facebook. He wants me to be his friend. How can I be your friend when I called you Satan a million times? And, I mean, several, several, several times. And you read what I write. Uh, I should have dropped my papers in the parking lot after screaming, You're a rapist. When you rape, you raped me real bad. And the diarrhea went into my vagina and made little bumps and my husband knew that you raped me before but he really knew that you raped me then and that's the proof you know he can't say that i was around anybody else because he wouldn't allow me to be around anyone else he you know both men were totally completely insane psycho psycho i'm not allowed to talk to even a girl both men. I wasn't allowed to talk to Kathy. I pretend a lot narcissist. I wasn't allowed to talk to Kathy. You know? That's fucked up. Now, Kathy had her problems, but she was there emotionally supporting me, being a nurturing woman, and that's what nurturing women does, but she did a lot wrong. That's all I'm going to say about her. Shouldn't have mentioned her name. <laughs> Shouldn't have mentioned... Connie Loonsbury name. Um, so, at any rate, now it's getting a little bit overboard with talking. Um, yes, I should have just, my main point here was I should have dropped. Should have dropped the papers and left after screaming he's a, a rapist. Because he did. Um, I cannot have any contact with a super delusional, insane monster like him. He was Satan to me. And yeah, I should just drop my papers. I mean, they're fine in a 140 thing car. There's turmeric in there. I think the turmeric's bad. Like, all my food, whatever food, he has food in there, yeah, I mean, he just keeps all the fucking shit, and yeah, he has all his trash in there, all the, um, oil cans, empty oil cans, just throwing, like, six of them, just a wreck, he, he never, ever, ever, ever cleans, just like where I came from, my caretakers, just, you know, total white trash, yeah, that, you, you look in his car, that's total white trash, Disgusting, gross trash. And that's all he's ever been. And yeah, I should have respected myself. And done that. But yeah, my whole life I had to honor trash. Where I came from. 
I had to honor a child molester, so it's just kind of normal for me. Oh, yeah, no, it's not okay. And I just can't believe no one cares. There is no help where I'm at or any other place in America that actually cares about women who were child molested and their children. You tell me a facility that actually cares. Because there are none. 